Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are working on a spray kitchen faucet. Uh, we had a group member on Facebook ask for help on this one, so I'll take a whack at this as well. Uh, I will start this video with a few assumptions uh, that you know the basics of Shaper. So you probably know how to revolve a simple shape, which is like a circle, right? And we're gonna start from there. So what we need to do is obviously make that sketch. So we projected that face, now we make that center line. And now I'm just gonna make a few shapes so that we can extrude a little piece so we can have something to start from. So we extrude that piece and make it as a new body so that we can actually work with it and it goes out straight. And on that, we use that as a plane to sketch our shape that we need. And we're gonna start off with a circle and then we're gonna cut it in half. And after that, it gets really repetitive. We're gonna do a lot of mirroring and moving. All right, so at this point, we just have to cut the circle in half and we simply draw a sketch right across the middle and trim those edges before we start to mirror. And uh, in this part of the video, I am still figuring out what is the best way to mirror this stuff uh, just because it's the first time I'm attempting it. But uh, later on in the video, uh, I will just simply use the side view, which will make things go a lot faster. So that's what I recommend is to make the first uh, initial sketch and then line it up with the side view and go from there. And this is the first of many uh, rotates that we have to do. Uh, so basically after this, we just mirror, rotate, mirror, rotate, rinse and repeat. And like I said, I will make this part of the video a little bit shorter since it's just the same thing over and over again. But I did just want to show you those first couple basic steps so that you can get the general idea. So as you can see here, I finally start mirroring off of the side view, which is the correct way to do it. Just make sure that you have selected that view so that you can see the grid on that side. So I sped up this part uh, about twice as much, that's the limit that iMovie has. Um, if you want to skip this step, just skip 7 minutes and 39 seconds and you will get to the next step which we actually begin to sweep uh, the circle.
finally, that's the feeling I get anyways. Um, so now we begin to sweep uh, that form over there. And again, we have to do a lot of manual here, but at least this is much faster than the other one. Uh, and the thing I run into in the end was that the final uh, rotation, it was too close together, so the sweep failed. And you're gonna see me work a little bit on that and maybe find uh, one of many solutions that we can come across to fix it. So as you can see, my sweep failed there. And uh, I tried a couple different approaches here, but I ended up just uh, doing whatever worked. This was, I believe, my third attempt. And we just continue that sweep all the way into the piece to finish off that spring coil. And I had this coil in red just because this is what we were working on, but let's change it to gray and finish off by taking a picture of our product. Uh, I think that's one of the best feelings ever is when you complete a project and you can take a picture and enjoy what you've done. And just because that sharp flat edge was kind of uh, Sore to the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it, make it a little bit rounder. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, any product you ever make, you gotta make sure that not only does it work, but it also looks natural and just something.
something that feels right. And every person, I guess, has a slight difference uh, with those things, but at the end of the day, it matters what you did. So I hope you guys had fun in this video. I know it's a long and tedious one, but I hope I earned you at least a like and a subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.